Hi, now that you've accessed your Degree Navigator report using Audit UBC Report, this tutorial will show you how to read your Degree Navigator report. Your report has two main components, general credits required for your degree on the top right hand side, and then more specific requirements for your specialization below. The box with general credit requirements show your total credits, science credits, upper level, and upper level science credits. You can see the minimum required credits to fulfill the requirements, the number of credits you have going towards that requirement, and finally, the status indicating a check mark if complete or an X if incomplete. Degree Navigator will only look and display that the minimum number of credits have been fulfilled. For example, this report shows that 72 science credits have been counted, but the students may have 75. The more specific requirements below show a combination of faculty and program requirements. Note that credits awarded for each course can only be used once. They cannot double count. These boxes show you the number of credits and name of the course or set of courses that are required on the left. You can click on the name of the course or requirement to see more details and a pop-up window will come up. The complete box again shows you the status with a check mark or X. Current indicates the number of credits that are being applied from courses you are currently registered in. Note that the complete box includes current courses, so be sure to complete those successfully. Otherwise, your report will change. The missing box will tell you how many credits you need beyond the courses you have completed and are registered for in order to fulfill this requirement. Finally, the rightmost box tells you the courses that the system has picked up to fulfill this requirement. It will always try to maximize the number of requirements fulfilled and will tend to prioritize courses taken most recently. Courses have the name of the course first, followed by a few notes in parentheses. The first number is the number of credits that course is worth. For example, three or four credits. If you are registered in a waitlist, you will see zero until you have been registered for the course. Then you will see the academic session when the course was taken. Then you will also see a number that indicates the percentage marked achieved in that course. If you have not completed the course, Degree Navigator will display CIP, which stands for Currently in Progress. Again, be sure to successfully complete these courses. You may see other notes such as TR, which means transfer, or CDF, credit defill. Sometimes you will see the course be worth eight credits, for example, and the system will only use three to fulfill the requirement. It will apply the remaining credits in another requirement, for if possible. If you scroll down to the bottom of your report, you will see two additional boxes, unused courses and invalid courses. Courses listed in the unused section will not be displayed in the total credit box above or specific program requirements, but are still officially applicable to your degree and will be displayed in your transcript. Note that Degree Navigator will still count these unused credits for the other general requirements above, that is the science, upper level, and upper level science requirements. Invalid courses are courses that, are, that cannot be used to fulfill your degree requirements. You may see courses here for any of the following reasons. Courses from your high school record, W standing, co-op courses, failed courses, courses that are credit excluded with another course you've already taken, courses not for credit in your specialization, transfer credits exceeding the 60 credits allowed for major students, or 66 credits allowed for honor students. Finally, be sure to read any notes that are included in your report as they may indicate important exceptions or reminders. Degree Navigator for Science students is not considered an official graduation check, so be sure to consult an academic advisor. As always, the advisors at the Science Information Center are happy to go over your Degree Navigator report if you are ever confused or if you believe that it is making an error. Thank you.